All right, and here we are for some little Blue Devil postseason basketball. And I'm here with my, my co-host, Nabil. How you doing, Nabil? Doing well. How are you All doing, Mateo? I'm doing great. We're live here on uh, 107.9 WELV Radio, live on YouTube. And getting ready for some action in between the Raiders of Red Hook and the Blue Devils of Ellenville. And this is the first game of Section 9 um, playoffs for the Blue Devils. Uh, they came in as a uh, number four seed, and they're playing a number five seed in Red Hook. So it should be a pretty, uh, a pretty close matchup based on, uh, uh, based on the rankings. Kids, he judges out. So uh, Blue Devils control the possession. It's going to be a kick ball on Red Hook, so Blue, Blue Devils will maintain possession. Kinsey to take the ball out of bounds for the Blue Devils. Van Matra gets it into Marino. Marino hands it off to DJ. McComb. And the Red Hook, <laughs> number five, uh, it's Donahue for uh, Red Hook. Tried, tried to fool the ref and uh, giving them the ball, but that was off them and back to Blue Devils. Ooh. <laughs> Unfortunate. I actually know the three kids there. Yes, and I look at the, the, the Raiders a little put some pressure on the ball here. The Blue Devils. Again, a couple deflections already here early. Yeah, seems that they're just going to keep on playing pressure and just try to foil them from there. Yeah, got some nerves here. Marino, Marino. inside, tried it, doesn't get stolen. So again, a uh, very active Red Hook defense. So number 10 and on the outside. Yeah, they wheel it around top of the key over to the right wing, back to the top. Very quick passing by Red Hook here. Again, what you want to do, make, break down the defense. Yep. But they're daring him to shoot, and no one's really taking the shot. So it looks like Red Hook's. Uh, oh, oh! Looks like Red Hook's game plan is to milk the clock, and uh, you know. Yep. But again, he got a wide open uh, mid range jumper, but miss and rebound by Marino. Uh, Trevor call. Nope. Oh, no. It's going to be a foul on Red Hook there as uh, McComb tried to uh, penetrate. They're going to call a hold. I did not see the number they gave. It looks like number five. That is. Yeah, number five Brendan is Donahue. Donahue. Let's see a. Um, Senior. Senior. Point yeah. guard, shooting guard for Red Hook. All right. Elmo looks like they're going to try to play slow here, I think. Just trying to find some space. It's Kinsey. Here we go. DJ to number 11. Moreno up. Wins a rebound. And wins a foul, too. Yep. That's another another red hook foul as uh, McComb tried to dish it to uh, what's number eleven for us? That's uh, that's number Douglas eight. and yeah. uh, Douglas. Uh, I mean uh, the pass a little low, so hard for Douglas to handle. Normally when you get it to a big man, you want to get it waist high or higher, so he catches and puts it straight up. But Marino, Marino got their offensive board and uh, got his own point. offensive miss and makes the first bucket of the game. Yep. Now he gets the ball for the second shot. Ooh, Ooh, and it's oh, good. Nice. He's, he, one thing about Red, he's got really good rotation on that ball. You see the spin on it, which helped that ball go in right there. And that's something you don't see a lot in a lot of shooters today. They shoot a lot of knuckle balls, but the ball doesn't really spin when they let it go. Red Oaks, uh, number 10, tries to put it Marino in. Marino with another board. That's yep. his third board. Here comes Kinsey. Two defense, one offense, and they're going to call Ooh. a carry on Kinsey, who tried to do a hesitation move, but that was an obvious carry. I can see it from here. And as you see, I got glasses, my eyesight's good, but I can still see it from here. <laughs> <laughs> here comes Donnie here, number four. It's a younger one, I believe. Yeah, we don't have a number four on our roster, but yeah. I heard him out of Donahue, so I'm not sure if the two Donahues are related, number four and five, but. Um, here comes Donahue, number five, goes for a layup. Marino gets another board. So Marino really strong on the board so far here for comes the Blue Devils. McCombs McComb. up. Oh, they're going to call a charge. Oh, that looked like it was a good shot. And again, the defense was not standing still. That was a. DJ's like completely confused there. Yeah, He's like. I mean, usually on a charge, the guy's got to be hit pretty hard or knocked down. And the guy didn't go in here. He, he moved yeah, he's to the a, side. Just a little shove. I mean, that's yeah. going to happen. Yeah, but it's supposed to be like head-to-head -head contact, you know what I mean? And he, yeah. like, rolled off at the defender, which is normally a blocking foul or a no-call. But either way, DJ's first foul. Yep. I think Red Hook likes to run down the clock here into the last second so they could shoot. Yeah, well, like I said, if they were all shooters, you can see they're getting they're getting shots on the wing. They could shoot if they're just choosing not to. So maybe they don't, they, don't, they don't trust their shots. All right. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Marino. 
Yeah, Marino unable to get knocked away just as he went to grab that one. And uh, easy layup, so we're knotted at two with 5.22 to go in the first quarter. So he goes with Cole, drives it in to Faint. Oh, wins the rebound, Moreno. And Moreno with another board and got fouled. <laughs> <So>. Oh, man. <laughs> so again, Moreno can live at the free throw line today. Do you know uh, Red Hook's head to head with Ellen Bellore? Well, they, they haven't played, to get, they didn't play each other this year. Oh, okay, gotcha. So right now we don't know, but Red Hook, are they're, like they're in the same section, you know, they're the same, they're in the same class, but they're not in the same league. And, you know, they, uh, the coaches do have a chance to set up games outside the league throughout the season, you know gotcha. what I mean? But right. Ellenville Red Hook didn't meet this year. Right Just like I, I think the winner of this game plays the winner of Roundout Marlboro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about We played Roundout, this. but we haven't played Marlboro. But we only played Roundout once, I believe, this year. Right and I think that's, that's going to dictate, it, you know, if, we, if we're victorious tonight um, I, and um, Roundout beats Marlboro, then we have another home game this week. But if Marlboro wins, then we'd have to go there if we win. And I think that would be on Wednesday. So I might need your services again on Wednesday if you're available. Yeah, if, okay. You know, let's hope we are. Let's hope we're having another home game. Can't see baseline jumper. No good. Marina with another Marino. board. Oh. Takes it strong and nice. in. Marina with all five yeah. points for the Blue Devils down there. I think he's got five rebounds to go with his five points. He's just a monster on the glass right now. I think Red Hook just likes to shoot inside the paint here. Maybe they can't get the shots off. Or they, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Oh, oh DJ with a steal. McComb up. Oh. Unable to get that floater to go. I like his I like his uh, long step there. That was nice. Yep. There you go. Oh, oh. missed layup by Red Hook. Can't see with the rebound. Coming up the right. Oh. And I call a block. Another block on Red Hook. Now, now to me, that was more of a charge than the charge they called on DJ right there as Kinsey tried to try to switch direction, but the defense didn't fall for it. And that was hard kind of look at the, and the Red Hook coach is not happy about that call either. Red Hook subs in 24. 14 foul for Red Hook. Red Hook subs in 24 for 20. Yeah, that's. Ooh, that's called out. And one full ball. But again, Red Hook doing a really good job um, defending the inbounds. Yeah. They really put the pressure on Talon here. Yeah. He's one man for one man here. Oh, but DJ oh, went up. Good save from that Red Hook yeah, player. Yeah, DJ chase it down. Oh, wide open. Oh, nice hesitation. DJ. Oh, oh. but he throws it out to Van Matcher for the three, but no good. Kinsey's going to try to time this block, but no oh, good. Oh, nearly gets on the board and You know, a lot of action so far, but it's only five to four. <laughs> it's like, it's like no one's pulling a bit. You know, it seems like there's a lot. We should have a lot more, more points on the board already. Just to, yeah. I don't know. I'm just energized, I think, about the game right now. Here comes Kinsey. A lot oh, of easy nice. shots. Yep. Good shot. And a lot of little layups have been missed, so you know, it's from on both sides so far. So not a lot, but you know, yep. a few on each side. But it's a 7-4 lead now for the Blue Devils. Three minutes to go in the first quarter. Donahue. Ooh, stolen. Stolen though. by Douglas. Gets it to Van Matra. Holds it up. Has Douglas open open again. Calm, nice. Moreno goes up. It's foul. He's gonna get fouled again. They just can't stop him in the post. Yeah. That's gonna be that's a 15 foul. Marino's going to go to the line for his fifth and sixth free throw so far. So if the team gets five fouls as a total, does Ellen will get a bonus or? No, no. In, in girls basketball, five fouls and they shoot two. They they shoot two free throws for every foul for the rest of the quarter. Gotcha. Boys, it's the first seven team fouls. You shoot one and one. After the seventh foul, they shoot one and one, which is they have to make the first one to get the second. If not, the ball's live and the miss first free throw. Mm -hmm. Unless it's a shooting foul like that, then you get two automatically. Then when you hit, reach the 10 foul mark, then it's two shots for the rest of the half. Oh, so right. the boys play by the half foul, the foul amounts, where the girls play by the quarter. Yeah, and, and girls never shoot a one-on-one -on -one anymore. They used to, but a few years ago they changed the rules, and girls don't shoot one-on-one -on -one anymore. Hmm. And there's a red hook's left wing. Elbow's just overloading the side with the ball here. Yeah. Oh, nice Number cut five, back with up five. Fake. That could be a three-second call right there, but they don't There's call There's four that seconds much. left on the shot clock. Red Hook is running out of time. Marino with the block. And Marino gets the block and the ball. Nicole. 
Taking on his man. Goes up. McComb. Nice. Oh, great move up underneath the outstretched hand of the defender there. But McComb with a quick first step, able to blow by his defender so far. And the de their, their help defense have been helping Red Hook, but DJ was able to get by that one. And the Blue Devils out to a six point advantage, 10 to 4. The Red Hooks, have, they, they have to take shots from the win. Yeah. There's no choice here. Oh, Ooh. Ben Matra went to the ground and took out his own teammate, Kinsey. Ben Matra still down. They're going to have to call a timeout here. And there again, the first three pointer of the game, Ben Matra may hit his head on Kinsey as they collided. And there's going to be a uh, an injury timeout. But he's up. He's walking. Yep. But it's going to have to be a sub in the game. Who, who's at the desk? Is that Jackson looking to come in the game? Uh, number three. Yeah, that's Christian Jackson checking in the game for for uh, Matthew Van Matra. Looks like he was just a little... A little dazed, a little, little shocked. Dazed. Yeah. dazed, but not confused, let's yeah. call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's perfect, yeah. But, uh, again, Red Hook took, finally took one of those wide-open shots they had, and uh, they made that one, so it's 10-7 now. As Kinsey tries to get by his man, Moreno. unsuccessful, but the Douglas now. Douglas. Again, the Blue Devils moving it pretty quickly. McComb drives it. It's up for his, uh, Moreno. Yes, nice. Moreno with another board. It's another rebound, too. And DJ McComb not happy about that no call there, but but uh, but uh, Moreno able to clean that up again. And again, a 12 to 7 advantage now for the Blue Devils. Red Hook shoots from the key. No good. Moreno with another board. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Moreno's on fire. McComb with Moreno. Oh, Moreno gave up his dribble. You don't want to do that there, but he gets it back out to McComb. There have been a really good one-two punch so far this game yep. for the Blue Devils. 30 seconds left on the game clock here. McComb takes a shot. And range short, no good. He's McComb lands on the ground again, but hustling back on D. Get the layup. Oh. Missed. And Marino oh, with no. another board. Now they're going to call the foul on Red Hook. <laughs> it looks like Marino now is going to go. No, it's only a 16 foul, so. Red Hook coach not happy. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> the 17 crowd is seconds to go. You got a red hook. You got to hope that that's the second team foul on number five. That's one of the Donahues. Yep. Crowd is happy no, with the call. Wait a minute. There's no five in the game now. Oh, there he is. Over there. Okay. I'm sorry. It is five. He's on DJ there, but Kinsey takes Kinsey a shot. Kinsey with a, just a floater that was. <laughs> Kinsey got to get a little. Kinsey got to get a little more in control on that shot. He just threw up a little floater, but it was very out of control. But he almost got his own rebound. But either way. Blue Devils with a five-point advantage at the end of the first quarter, 12-7. So, so much action. but that seemed to go pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, a lot of action, but it was a quick first quarter. So I'm going to let you go and give, give us uh, any one of those bulletins you want to give us. All right. Dallinville Central School District is offering a five-hour pre-licensing court as required by the New York State for all new drivers Saturday, March 19th. This class costs $25.00 and runs from 9 a.m. till 2.30 p.m. with the registration at 8 a.m. before the class. For more information, call 647-0138. That's 647-0138. That was like perfectly timed. Nice job. <laughs> the buzzer got in the way a little bit, but again, you never know when that's coming, but that's a, that's, that was a very good job. All it's right, unfortunate so. the buzzers are right in front of our face. Yeah. <laughs> And it's funny. I'm glad we can see the scoreboard on our on our on our uh, on our shot there. Yeah, because tonight the, the basket's not up quite as much as it normally is. Yeah. But again, I can look. I don't know why I keep looking to my left when we've got a wide open scoreboard on our right. But I like seeing the, this one because well, it shows the fouls. Yeah, exactly. I was just yeah. going to say that. See, hey, see, great minds think alike. <laughs> All right, we're back to action here. The Blue, uh, Blue Devils uh, with the lead, the red hook with the ball, skip pass to the right wing. Number 24 fakes it, penetrates, oh, deflected good. by Marino, but uh, recovered by Red Hook. Baseline move for the left side. 11 up for the left, and he's going to be fouled. Foul's called. Oh, and no. that's going to be, looks like on maybe Douglas, maybe Marino. I'm not sure who's going to get that one I think too. that should be Douglas there. Yeah, they give it to Douglas. Just check. Yep. And uh, Coach Bonnet's going to call a timeout. 
kill the momentum quick. <laughs> All right, so uh, you want to do another one? You want me to take one? You should do one. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do one. So let's see. This winter, Minnewaska State Park Preserve will be offering a series of public programs for children and adults at the Sam's Point area. There are a wide variety of activities being offered, and to learn more, visit the Minnewaska State Park Preserve page at parks.ny.gov. That's parks.ny.gov. Uh, for more information and to register for programs at the Sam's Point area, call the Sam's Point Visitor Center at 647-7989. That's 647-7989. Look at that, ready to Nice. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Someone's shooting for the Raiders. Who's that? Tell, me, who, tell me who's shooting. That would be. I, I think it's number 11. Drake? No, it's number Kraju 11. Krajowski? Yeah. No, nope, number 11 shooting. Number 11? Oh, all right. Uh, number 11, Gail, uh, Gavin, uh, Gavin Cole. He's a 6'3", 185 pound senior. That's and not he, bad. <laughs> did he, make, he, missed, he missed the free throw, so it's 12 to 9. For Cole. Jackson now gives it out to Kinsey, top of the key. Kinsey, Kinsey puts up a three, three short, Ooh. got partially blocked. And it's going to be Ellenville ball as the Red Hook did not go get the ball. They did a good job boxing out there, but they didn't see where the ball was, so they didn't know his. They didn't know their teammate blocked it, so they should have tried to save that ball. Yeah. So the Blue Devils get it back. Moreno. Moreno with a great move. Oh, the oh, blue to layup. Nearly. Great move there, but it's finger rolled it with a little too much English. Five. 24, 24, take a three. That oh. was a high arcing three point shot, but Those. Red Hook with the offensive board. And oh. they throw it out of bounds. That's going to be Ellenville ball. As two Red Hook players were fighting for the same ball there, and then. It's hard to keep track one, sometimes. One gave in to his teammate who was on the ground with the ball, which normally you don't <laughs> want to do. And he, he tried to throw it, get rid of it from the ground, and he threw it out of bounds. Yep. Comes Kinsey, top of the key. Hesitates, up. Can't see driving, but they're not. Again, I, I noticed one ref letting a lot of contact go. The other ref, uh, Greg Longleg, I think he's been refing a good game so far. I think the other ref right now has been uh, the shot. been letting a lot of contact go, which are should be a, you know their textbook fouls. But as long as he does it at both ends, I guess you got to let it go. But it's a one-point game now, 12 to 11. Is Red Hook able to sink that bucket? Yep. McComb now driving. Oh, oh again. passes a little bit too fast. Yeah, there. a little too hot for yeah. that pass. Oh, right there. He caught that. Could have been a travel there on number 11, but they didn't call it. Oh. And baseline jumper. And Red Hook takes the lead now, 13-12, as the Blue Devils unable to find the uh, a score yet. So far, almost two minutes into the second quarter, unable to get a bucket. Seems that. Good defense right here by the Raiders. And, uh, again, they're... Uh, McComb, good hesitation. It's up. Floater oh is good for McComb. Nice shot. And that's the first bucket of the second quarter for the Blue Devils, and the Blue Devils take the lead back 14-13. See if Red Hook gets some confidence from those two long shots they had. Number Casey five. defends the three, but oh, it's good. Nice. And Red Hook is now up two points, 16-14. And again, Red Hook deciding to put it uh, to get full court pressure on McComb because he's been the one getting his teammates open and scoring for the Blue Devils. They're challenging Kinsey now to take over that role. Who? Oh, good pass from Kinsey to McComb. Yeah, oh, Moreno. Yeah, off Moreno out of bounds. But you can see what Red Hook's done is they're trying to take uh, take McComb out of the game because McComb's been the uh, floor general, the point guard, you know, driving and dishing and getting by his man. So they're putting yeah. full court pressure on him now. And trying to see if someone else or Ellenville could take over that role. We now know Red Hook can shoot. I don't know why they didn't do that the first quarter. Wow, no call no there. Call ben there. Was pulled to the floor. And again, that's the one ref that I'm talking. <laughs> He's just letting everything go. Hard to be a ref because you don't know when to stop a game yeah. or just well, keep the momentum yeah, going. Well, there. Again, you learn how to call. You know what a foul is. You call <laughs> a foul. I mean, the game has rules for a reason. Uh, and right there, that's going to be an and one now on, on against Ellenville. And that's going to be on number 11. That's Douglas's. That's going to be his second foul. Yep. And that's three team fouls. Foul on Matthew. 
That yeah. should have been called 100%. No, see, that was a foul. And like I said, Logan Dyke, yeah. the other ref, he's calling again. I mean, that's a foul, you call it. And again, even though it's against one of our players, I try to be an, I try to be unbiased when I'm doing these games. When I just try to call what I see. I mean, if they're... That could have been a foul there. As his yeah. arms are under each other. But Red Hook and the offensive board, now they're up six points now, 20 to 14. It was, that was in almost one pl two plays, right? Yeah. Six points. McCombs running it up. Oh, good pass to Douglas, to Kinsey. Runs it up from the right. Oh, oh. Kinsey had to lay up and was just unable to make it. He's got he to he sink those. He blew by He blew by the defenders, got a wide open layup. Kinsey with the, off, with the defensive board now looking to push it up again. Oh, Red Hook has, he, they're, they're missing one person on defense. Oh, yeah. couldn't make but this But he's happen. back, he recovered. Oh, and he actually, he got steal. the steal. Oh, but Kinsey. Mark McKinsey. Oh. Oh, that Marino, great defense by McCall. Marino with the rebound, gets it knocked away again. Thomas and the Blue Devils going to call a timeout as, uh, you know, they're going to have to learn to play through that when uh, it, it, you shouldn't have to worry about which ref is at what end of the court, but right now that's the kind of game it is. Yeah. One ref is calling contact fouls. The other one's letting a lot of contact go. So it's almost like you got to recognize who's at that end and then play accordingly because... Mm -hmm. They're, you know, the, the Blue Devils are getting manhandled at one end, you know. And, again, I appreciate either way if you're going to call. But, again, I, I, I appreciate the rest calling it both ways, you know, calling it, it the same game, you know. Yeah. Because you shouldn't have to look at, say, okay, what refs, have, you know, because you notice the refs switch, they switch ends of the court uh, per possession or per, per dead ball kind of thing. So it's not like one's always at the offensive end and one's always at the defensive end. So. But there's two de two definite different styles of refereeing going on tonight. Mm -hmm. so it's almost like a contrast. Yeah, 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 very a lot of contrast. Yeah, and it's hard as a player because you, it, you know you play one way, so you, know, you don't want no one wants to get in foul trouble. Yeah. And again, right now, I mean, again, uh, uh, Red Hook had six fouls called on them in the first quarter. They're still at six, so there's no fouls called in the last four minutes against Red Hook, and the Blue Devils only had two called against them. So it's not like a lot, but they're just a lot a lot of un. Not fouls not being called. Comes Kinsey, top of the key. McComb. Yeah, McCombs now. Jackson over to Kinsey. Kinsey, Kinsey take takes the three. three. Oh. No good. Red Hook with the rebound, and we're gonna push her push it up quick. Trying not to let Ellenville set up their defense. And they swing it back to Donahue at the top of the key. Donahue gets it to the other. Donahue number four on the right wing. Back to Donahue number five. Yeah. Back down, down in the corner. Five's open for a shot here. Drives it in instead. Goes for a jump shot. And the range over is good. And it's a 10 point advantage now for Red Hook. So, yep. what well, was a five point lead at the end of the quarter has turned into a 10 point disadvantage. With the Blue Devils only scoring two oh, points. Screened by Moreno. Yeah, they're going to call a trip there on Red Hook, and that'll be one and one. Not out of bounds. Referee's pointing out of bounds, but it's a 17th foul. So uh, he's shooting one and one. Number four, number foul Donahue. On number one? Number four. Okay, four. It's his second foul. The seventh foul for um, Red Hook. Yep. Yeah. All right, McComb at the line now, his first free throws of the game. Yep. First one's up, and it's good. That's good technique, I like it. Yep. Oh, get, get, he's getting two here? Yeah, it's one and one. Oh, this so, is oh, one. Okay. That's what I was talking gotcha. about. If he makes the first one, he gets the second. Because he wasn't shooting when nice. he called the foul. He got tripped before the foul. Red Hook was not happy about that. Yeah. I mean, I think it just it looked like his player tripped on I don't think there was a shove there. No, nope. like I said, one of the, one of the coaches' jobs is to defend their team and try to get oh, calls made. Good but three. as a three-point shooting, I said if they had shooters, they were getting wide open shots, and now they're starting to shoot them, and it's an 11-point advantage now. Cole, up to Kinsey. Kinsey fakes. What? Yeah. Tries to catch his man. Double jumper. jumper short. I can tell that was short as it left his hand. Yeah, it was a little bit pointed, a little bit downwards. Yeah. 
So I guess it's going to be the uh, game of attrition here because I said Red Hook's really putting a lot of pressure on Ellenville, which means they're going to get tired and fatigued sooner. But, you know, they keep building a lead like this. They'll have a cushion that, that they can take yeah. a break. Or Ellenville's got to do what they can the last two minutes here to get, you know, to get, you know, I'd say within maybe six points by halftime if possible. Another three-pointer for Red Hook. Oh. No good. They're going to call. Now they're calling a push. Now they're calling a push in the back on Red Hook, so the McComb will go to line and shoot one-on-one one again. Red Hook number three is being called for the foul. <laughs> See the coach? You can, I don't know if you can hear the coach, but he yeah. can, he you can hear this, this coach is not upset. He's upset, too, the way calls are being made. Like I said, it's a game. It's a, a, a different game at each end of the court. I don't know. Is the camera picking up the sound from the coach? What's that? Is a camera? No, no. Our both of our mics, but the, he ah, can, they can hear. Our, <laughs> they, they can hear without you know. This mic's picking up what that's saying too. Oh, okay, cool. Oh. If you watch like when we're quiet, you see the mic still going up on on our monitor there. Oh, yeah. oh okay, gotcha. So they might not hear it as crisp and clean, but. Ooh. No contact there. Three pointer. Ooh. No good. In and out. Offensive rebound. Up back oh. up and good. Timeout. Red Hook. As they go up now 13, 29 to 16. So again, not a, not a good offensive quarter so far for the Blue Devils. Uh, they're over six minutes into the quarter, only scored four points so far this quarter. Yeah. And, uh, and just the opposite, I mean, uh, Red Hook scored 22. So it's also a breakdown of defense, you know? 22, because they had seven. Red Hook must have right? figured out something uh, in the defense. They started hitting the shots. Oh, yeah. And again, the Blue Devils, uh, I don't know. It's, I saw it a lot in the first quarter that as Red Hook swung the ball, they were getting a second or two to shoot the three if they wanted to, but they weren't shooting. I think they were just testing the waters. Yeah, they yeah. could be. Again, yeah. it, could, it could have been that, like I said, because now they're good. They made them. And they're coming out of this timeout here. Red Hook is up 13 points, <clears throat> 29 to 16. Elmore are on a bonus, so if they do get fouled, they go to the... Uh, shot. Yep, yeah, uh, it doesn't, doesn't have to be on a shot, but see the full court pressure on McComb. Yep. And now they're going to get back to half court. Yep. There you go. Oh, they said the number four for yep. Ellen uh, Number four, so uh, oh. number 24, Drake Krajewski, he's doing a good job in defense, and he actually just gets a steal from McComb. He's been the one putting all the pressure on McComb for the, first, for the entire first half, as per the coach's orders. Yeah. Takes a lot of stamina and a lot of uh, yeah. athleticism. Twenty-four, back to four. four and uh, who's uh, number four is in the game for us now, right? Uh, number Gio Velez in the game. Yep. Oh yeah, our own number four Kinsey. is in. Oh. Kinsey with the rebound. Kinsey can run this out. McComb is still being guarded. Kinsey runs it up, jump shot, and makes there it. There it is. That's the layup. They're the ones he's got to wow. make. I mean, that one's a little more contested than a couple of the others he's had. And again, a good, good finish by Kinsey there. 11 point lead. Down to 11 point game. If yep. they can get another bucket before that, you know, hold Red Hook from scoring, you get another bucket before the half, they could cut it to single digits. Oh, and good McCall block. With the steal, but. Oh, he tried to save it, but yep. unfortunate. That was a nice save. Yep. The Blue Devils weren't in the area that he saved it to. And again, it's 25 seconds on the clock, eight seconds on the shot clock. No oh, good. Moreno, Moreno with it. the rebound. And they're going to call the hold on number 11. Oh, they're going to call that on Moreno? Really? But didn't he have the ball? Yeah. Oh, that's not a good call at all. Moreno was trying to clear the ball because two guys were all over him. And they're calling it because I guess Marino's elbow caught the guy in the head, but the guy was in his space. Damn. <laughs> See, right there, that's what I'm saying. That's, what, that's the referee. I just don't understand what he's doing. It's, it's, if anything, it's a, there's two guys going for the ball. There's no way four hands could have been on the ball without fouling our player. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> now, again, the event, our, it's still our advantage. that they, they got more fouls than we do. But, like I said, it's just the quality of the calls that's just not there. And oh. they raise jumper, and, it, and that's not how we wanted to end the half, as Red Hook takes a 13-point advantage into the locker room for halftime, as uh, they're winning a, by the score of 31 to 18. 
All right, and we are back with some uh, Blue Devil basketball second half. And sorry I had to get rid of the Bruno Mars when I was your man, but uh, again, we're bringing you some live Blue Devil action as the Blue Devils had an early lead in the first quarter and then lost it in the second, now down 13. And we are starting the second half, Blue Devil ball. Kinsey gets the inbound from Douglas, brings it over midcourt. And screen from Reno, nothing there. Let's see, we got Douglas there and Four. Velez in the game to start the second half for the Blue Devils. Kinsey looks to make something happen. Nice. She's like cutting it back here. Yeah, McComb now gets the ball, and now again you can see the. Ellen was, I, I feel like Ellen was much more cool. And McComb down on the ground, needs yeah. some help up there. As it looks like they called the block out of bounds, so it went out of bounds off of, almost looked like it went off the Blue Devils, but we'll take it. They gave it the ball back. Yep. And um, and they're going to give it to Red Hook. They're going to say that went off McComb there. And again, that was a bad pass, because if you notice how when DJ, uh, the ball was over, he almost caught it at half court. If he went over the court, caught, touched the ball, and went over to half yeah, court line. Yeah, that would have been that ball, yeah. yeah. Red Hook now. Oh, they subbed in 20, I believe, Red Hook. Yeah. First step in the game, as well as 23. First shot. Oh, great pass. A nice quick pass there by Red Hook and wide open. Sean right Terry. open number 23 for the layup there. And Red Hook goes up now by 15. All right. Can Kinsey make something happen here? Passes yeah, off to the Les. I think they got to get, look at it. Red Hook knows what to do. They're trying to shut down McComb. Oh, here you go. The last is open. That's hard. That's long. Oh. Douglas takes it, took a head to the face there for the Blue Devils by number 23 with the rebound. Charge. And they're going to call Velez as he didn't have possession in bounds when he came. He jumped from out of bounds to catch that ball. You have to establish your position uh, in bounds uh, before you can touch the ball. Yep, here we go. And again, Red Hook, Red Hook just getting to the ball quicker than the Blue Devils yeah. right now. I feel like it's also a height difference. Versus Ellen versus Black, there's much more taller people on Red Hook. Yeah, McComb gets a rebound. He's going to push it up, try not to let the defense set up. Oh. And foul again, no, no foul call. Oh. A lot of contact, no foul call. I thought surely that would have been a foul. Actually. Yeah, but no, he's, that guy's letting him play. Called out of bounds. But Les is that open. That could have been a five-second call on Kinsey there. The Blue Devils just have struggling getting the ball in bounds. I mean, it's yeah. credit credit Red Hook's defense as uh Oh, here we go. Three on one. Yeah, that, that yeah. defense. Blue Devils, Blue Devils really got to up. And that's going to be a timeout call right now. Is it a 15, what's it, a 17-point deficit now. 6-12 to go in the third quarter. And I'm going to give it to you to read whatever, anyone you want, even the one you read earlier, if you want to. All right. On Sunday, March 19th at 2 p.m., the Rosendale Theater Collective presents a screening of Fast Forward as a part of the Celebrating Aging Art uh, series. Fast Forward is, a, a Fast Forward is an award-winning award documentary that asks, if you could see 30 years in the future, would you change anything? The theater is located at, at 408 Main Street in Rosendale. And for more information, call... 658-8989, that's 658-8989, or go online to rosendellotheater.org. That's rosendellotheater.org. Nice job. Very nice job, in the bill. Right, and right. that's the second buzzer, so it should be Blue Devil basketball. Kinsey, Kinsey jogging down to get it out of bounds here. Yep. And again, right see. there, he see he's underneath the backboard. He should not be underneath the backboard. It's asking for Velez to come closer. And yeah, I know, but, Kin, uh, but McComb yeah. was wide open. No, McComb on the right side, getting trying to get the offense set up. McComb up for a jump shot. Oh, block. block. McComb shot blocked. Red Hook pushing it up. Douglas almost deflected it just by hustling and caught it, went off his knee, but Red Hook able to regain control. Up, uh, and foul. that's going to be a foul on Marino there. Yeah. As 
See right there, that's a ref calling. That's a, that is a foul, but it's a very weak foul compared to what the other ref's not calling. Yeah, DJ can see him. Well, right now that's neither here nor there because Red Hook learned how to play with the way the red game's being called, so Ellenville's got to do the same thing. You yeah. know, it's not, it's not the reason why we're down 17. And uh, who's shooting, number 20? That is Luke. Luke Swall. Luke Swall, yeah, I'm sorry. And that'll be Blue Devil Ball. As Moreno going to inbound it now, and again, Red Hook. And again, they just don't want McComb. They don't want McComb to handle the ball. Yeah, I think I think the play has just and it's worked. Like I said, yeah. since they, first quarter, McComb did a lot of damage to him, and since then, they've shut him down. They've shut down the Blue Devils by limiting McComb's. Oh, there you and go. They're going to travel on Kitsy there as he gave up his dribble, one dribble too soon. Yep. Charge. And let's see, 524 to go here in the third quarter. Blue Devils down 18. Blue Devils got to do really make up some make up some ground here. And Red Hook's gonna call a timeout now as the Blue Devils put a little pressure on the ball there and they almost had a uh, well I don't know why the shot clock's down to 12 seconds though, because oh I think that might have been a bit of a mistake. If it's down to 12, that means it should have been a 20, it should have been a 10 second violation because they weren't over half court. And I think they might have started at 20. Well, there's no why were they started at 20? That's sometimes what to it, it sometimes just happens. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. how that wasn't a 10 second call? Oh, now there's 25 seconds on yeah. the shot clock. So I thought I think uh, they didn't they didn't ever reset it. I guess yeah, they didn't reset it up the pass. And that, that might have been why the Red Hook coach called the timeout because he didn't know how much time, you know, whether it was going to be a 10-second call or not. <laughs> but either way, Blue Devils trying to regroup over there. Again, they don't need all 18 back right away. There's still over five minutes to go in the third quarter, but they got to creep back into it and you know, like get it to with like 10 or 10 yeah. or less by the end of the quarter would be nice. That would, that would be probably the best. But they, I think they really got to uh, dig deep now and, uh, you know, counter what Red Hook's been throwing at them. And Red Hook now is going to take their time with such a big lead. They can use a lot of time on the shot clock if they want. Here you go. Five. Oh, good steal. Comes McComb. Yep, Finally McComb. on the break. Oh, my God. Right there. No foul call. And again, they Dude, out. And oh, my well, God. McComb able to finish, though. So great, great body control by McComb there. If McComb was. McComb with oh, a steal. Oh, steal. Dives for the ball. Great hustle by McComb. Jason, up. And again, oh, Kinsey, nice. and again, a lot of contact, no call. Here we but go. That's, that's the way they call it now. That's the, you know, yep. it's, but again, the Blue Devils being strong, power, and through the contact. Oh, so close right for the block. There. But this is good so far. Yep. But it's still a 16 point disadvantage, though, for the Blue Devils. And again, Marina was hit on his wrist. I could see it from there, but no call. Oh, good but pass. But again, look at Red Hook beating him up the court. See, that's no, there's no excuse for that. As uh, Red Hook able to sprint, beat, beat the blue, all the Blue Devils up the court. Again, it's back to 18-point advantage for the Raiders. McCombs making a play. Number 30. Yeah, and that, that's um, that's another McComb. That's uh, DJ's younger brother pulled up from the JV team. And stolen by Red Hook. And not oh. finished as McComb gets the rebound. DJ pushing it up the court. And again, oh. now they, call, <laughs> they slowed him down. That was, it couldn't have been more obvious. <laughs> 3.34 to go again. It's still an 18 point yep. lead for the Raiders. So uh, again, the Blue that was really stood now. Got to, it looked like they were cutting into it. They, got, they scored two quick, buck, two quick buckets. But Red Hook able to score two more to bring, put him right back to where they were. Here comes Jason. Cuts it across. Up. Yeah, oh, yeah. good backboard shot. Good. I didn't see how that went in. That was amazing because I oh thought it got partially blocked. A lot of spin on that one. And they got to watch back door. Wide open back door. Okay. Douglas, good D. Number 23 go. was wide open. Luckily, number 11 didn't see him there. McCall passes to Moreno. McComb oh. for three, 
end is good. And it's a 13. It's, oh, they gave, it, they gave it to the wrong team there. Oh, whoops. They got to take three points whoops. off the Red Hook score. Now they got to put two more on. I mean, it, it, the scoreboard's not doing it right, but we got. I think they corrected it now. I think it's 42 now. Yeah, 42-27. Good shot from number 30, the younger McComb there. Jason coming up to Douglas. Douglas up. Yes, nice. There nice go. give and go there. Alva having the momentum here. And it, uh, Blue Devils calling a timeout. And it's going to be, uh, I'm not sure what that means, but with that said, would you like to do one you want me to? You should uh, do so it, Mr. All mine. <laughs> all right, Shadowland Stages is once again presenting its uh, love letter to the community in the form of showcasing classic films at an affordable price this spring with their 2022 series, Shadowland Studio Cinema. Each of the presentations will run approximately two hours and include a short subject from the same period as the showcase feature. The series will open on Sunday, March 27th at 2 p.m. with Howard Hawks' His Girl Friday from 1940. All screenings take place at the studio at Shadowland Stages, 14 Market Street at Center Street in Ellenville. For tickets and more information, visit ShadowlandStages.org. That's ShadowlandStages.org. Good stuff. That's a long one. I thought, yeah. I, I, but hey, it's a. I, I guess going to be a longer time. That's out, a man. full timeout. Yep. <laughs> if it was a thirty-second timeout, I wouldn't have got it all in. All right, I take my glasses off now. It's funny. I can read the banners all the way across the thing. I can read them no problem. I can't read this <laughs> 12, twelve inches from my nose. No, that's how it is. Yeah. So it's thirteen points. There are two and a half to go. Now, if the Blue Devils can keep on this, like I said, I, I'm just I just like to see them like nine or eight points by yeah. the end of the quarter. Be down eight or nine points, and, and you know that means the momentum will be in their favor, and hopefully the fans will get in and become that. And again, Red Hook looking to get the ball off the court. Oh, travel! Oh, that was a definite travel right there. there As go. that guy started running before he dribbled the ball, <laughs> yeah. but I guess the ref didn't see it. And I, I just don't know how the refs are supposed to be watching the ball. One of them, at least. You know, one watches the ball yeah. based on where they are on the court. I don't know how they don't see a travel Guess like that. Up. Kinsey, nice. though, nice hesitation in, in Kinsey. Kinsey has really stepped it back up. Yep, that's that's what we need. That's that's what yep. that's what's got to be. Still at 13 as the Red Hooks looking to break the press. And now Red Hooks going to take. Open. They're going to take their time now. They're going to milk some time off the clock as again they have the lead, and they're going to make the. The They're going to make a break down. The yeah. floor is up. No good. Rebound Marino. Yep. Clears it go. to McCollum. McCollum gets ahead. McCollum. Reverse. Oh, my God. Beautiful. And there it is. It's down to 11. But oh, Red Hook answers back, puts it back up 13. Blue Devils got to get it out of bounds quick there. They got to keep it in the hands of Kitsy and McComb as, uh, again, still a minute to go here. Back up to 13 for the Raiders. Kinsey stop and pop, short. Oh. Oh, no good, rebound, rebound number 23, Red Hook. And right now under a minute to go, to, uh, the Raiders Four. taking their time again. Yeah, Red Hook is just gonna try to run down the clock here. Yeah, 20 seconds to go uh, in the shot clock. About a 20 second differential. No good. Rebound right, Marino. Elmo with 33 seconds. Yep. Shot so clock. That's... Yep, there it goes. Oh, DJ couldn't have handled the ball there. Douglas Again, has it. Douglas got it raked out of his hands. Again, 20 seconds to go. Nicole. Un... Good pass to Moreno. Moreno pushes up. Oh. No good. And it's gonna give Red Hook one more chance to get another shot off as there's under 10 seconds to go. I think, I think Red Hook might just hold on to this one. No, they you always want to get a shot. You never want to turn down a missed shot. He didn't, didn't even realize how much time's on the clock. Oh. Player did not even know how much luckily yeah. the coach yelled. He heard his coach <laughs> across the court because he was trying to set up an offense, not looking at the <laughs> But anyway, the Blue Devils a slight comeback. Let's see. Well, actually it's back to what it was at halftime, 13 points. So uh, unable to cut into the halftime lead, but uh, a little bit of momentum, I think, going our way. So let's see how we can start off this fourth quarter. And at the break, I'm going to let you go back and do one of these. All right. 
The Islandville Central School District is offering five-hour pre-licensing course as required by the New York State for all new drivers on Saturday, March 19th. The class costs $25 and runs from 9 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. with registration at 8 a.m. before the class. For more information, call 647-0138. That's 647-0138. Very nice, yeah. All right, so it, it, I know I also want to talk about tomorrow night at the, uh, at the high school auditorium, there's going to be a band festival. Yep. So that starts at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. I'll probably be there. Yeah? Yeah. Just to, as a fan, or are you in the band? No, I'll, I'll probably just, like, record yeah. or, like, control the lights or something. Yeah. Yep, that's cool. Again, we always take, take the help. Mr. Buckler's going to be there. Uh, Mr. Buckler's going to be there covering that game. Uh, covering, I call it a game. Uh, covering, <laughs> co covering that event. Play by play for yeah. uh, music. And uh, as far as I know, that's all the events we have this week. As uh, I said, basketball season. Our girls are away tonight. Not sure how they're doing right now. Uh, yeah, they're playing O'Neill, yep. I believe. I don't know what school that is. So. Yeah. Uh, First uh, time ever hearing. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what uh, rank they were either, you know, where they are. But uh, we'll see where things go at the, with this game. And again, if we come back with a comeback win here in the fourth, uh, we could be playing Wednesday. And if not, the season's over. Then we're waiting until spring, ready for spring sports to start. As Red Hook again. They're, they're oh, good shot. Yeah, five. nice. Uh, again, he powered through two, two players playing defense contact and. Jason to Douglas. Oh, Douglas unable to put that one in. Nice dish by Kinsey there. But uh, Blue Devils got to get all those shots to fall now. As I said, Red Hook's going to they're going to take 20 seconds at least yeah. off the shot clock every possession. Every single time. And uh, Coach I mean, Bond is getting Marino back in the game. Oh. Uh, they're going to call McComb on the reach there. Uh, so. And David McCombs is in the game now for the Blue Devils too, number 25. I see Douglas comes out of the game. Marino back in the game. So you got McComb, McComb, McCombs. Yeah, McCombs and McComb. <laughs> well, we got two Mc one McCombs with an S and two McComb without an S. Yep, well, this is going to be a confusing. And Marino <laughs> and Kinsey. Marino. And that's, that's a tongue twister for any, any broadcaster. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, again, that's what you start calling oh, by the numbers. good that fake. Nice fake by Red Hook. No good rebound, Marino. Yeah, t all the time there. Yep. He took his time. Gets it out to number 30, McComb, who brings it up court. No pressure. Gets it to McCombs, 25. <laughs> in the corner. Kinsey. Drives Kinsey it all. driving. Oh, foul, foul. Gonna, yep. It's going to be two shots for Kinsey. So, again, this is what you want to do. Make up a few points with the, sh with the, with the clock stopped. Man, that's going to be hard, though. Well, no, I mean, that's why you draw a foul like that. So yeah. it stops the clock. So now, now you got to make the – they call them free throws for a reason. They're supposed to be – they're supposed to be the second easiest shot in basketball. Easiest shot to lay up. Gotcha. Second one's a free throw because there's no defense. You just got to – it's just mental. And the first one's up. Oh, oh, in and out. It looked good. He had good rotation on it, but, you know, the referee is – Referee whispered in his ear. I don't know whether maybe his foot was touching the line or yeah, something. Maybe. So he, instead of calling it, he uh, just warned him. But either way, it didn't go in anyway. So, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure why the Blue Devils aren't pressuring the ball though, because they really should be looking to to get a little a few turnovers here. As again, it's oh. a 14 point game with six and a half to go. Elbow jumper for Red Hook, no good. Tipped, rebound oh, good by rebound. McComb. DJ McComb, number zero for the Blue Devils. Yeah, DJ spins. Also a yeah, shot. Yeah, he gets bumped. And now they're going to call a travel as two Red Hook players collided. DJ McComb got pushed off balance and no call on that shot as he tried to do a fadeaway, but he got bumped, no call. But that was almost a fate one there, whereas it, it came back to bite Red Hook as the two Red Hook players collided, <laughs> and, and the one who had the ball just held onto it and slid across the floor. Here we go. Moreno. Moreno gets the ball in the corner now, looks to drive, penetrate. Drives it into paint. Oh, and they're going to call a clear on Moreno yeah. as they saw his arm push off there. Yeah, that's a charge. But. 
What do you think the chances are for Ellen to come back here? Six minutes left. I, like I said, it all depends on how they step it up on defense here, and they, they got to start getting all their shots to fall. They got to get all. They got to get those easy layups to fall, or I wouldn't say easy. So they are tough with the contact that's happening out there. I'm not saying they're easy, but the short shots, the the, lo the little shots to fall, which haven't been doing it for consistently all game for them. And our, our three point shooting has been non-existent. I mean, I, I don't think we've made a three all game. I don't think we yeah. shot many. I think we shot a couple. I think uh, DJ's little brother, number 30, yeah, has shot one. The only one, one that was yeah. made. That was in the third quarter. So, again, not to say Red Hook's made a lot either, but, you know, in today's game, it's a predominantly three-point shooting game. They're going to oh. call it travel. Now, he called a try. He called a carry there, but he never brought the ball back down. I think he, he bounced it super high, it probably, yeah. probably looked oh, like Oh, there's it. the travel right there. Right in front of the referee, four feet from him. I know, man. Marino gets the rebound. And again, right there, that's where a call can make a difference. But I can't see get his pocket pick there. It doesn't help. But oh, he just picked steal. it back. McCombs. Oh, it's McCombs. They got a call foul there on 23, a block. McCombs will go to the line to shoot two now. All but right. again, they haven't created It's a 16-point deficit now. They got a lot of coming back to it now with the clock ticking away. Five minutes to go. That's number 23's fourth foul. So uh, one more and he's out of the game. He had two fouls early in the game and he sat, he sat a good chunk of the first half or at least the, I think part of the first quarter into the second. But only three team fouls for both teams so far in the second half. So. Yeah. There we go. DJ makes the second one, it's, yeah. makes it 14. Nice. But now they got to look up. Five minutes left on the clock here. Now we haven't seen much of Van Matcher back in the game. Jason with good hustle there. Good hustle. Let's go back to the Blue Devils. As again, the, ref, the Red Hook, I, could have, I understand Red Hook coach because the ball got knocked out of bounds by a defender. Yeah. And the referee. Sometimes you just got to laugh. It kind of looked like Sometimes it was, you just got to yeah. laugh. It's, you know. Young Jason. And that ball off the uh, shoulder of a defender. Yeah. Oh. And again, they should have called a flop there. The Red Hook player flopping. Yeah. And then he punches the wall there. <laughs> Actually, that's how that's how the, uh, one of our players hurt their hand. The Jacob Churchill punching a wall like that. So, yeah, oh, really? Uh, yeah. That's why he's uh, a couple weeks ago at a game. He got mad like that. Hit and he hit his hit his hand <laughs> on the wall and broke broke his arm. He hasn't been able to play. Oh man. Oh. But um, now Marino there had Marino there should have done a move on. He had 23 on him, who has four fouls. He can't do much to him, and I don't know why he's not taking it at him. McComb. McComb gets a blocked. Try to shot there, but and that's their okay, recognizing there. Four minutes to go. It's still 14 points. Red Hook really got to start putting pressure on the ball. Yep. I'm not Red Hook. I'm sorry. Blue Devils oh, got to put pressure yeah, on Red I didn't Hook. Catch that either. Yeah. No. I mean, we got to do something here. It's yeah. As again, there are 10 uh, seconds on the shot Elmwood clock. Has the pressure here. Oh, now they're going to clear the court. They're going to let number 15 try to make do his elbow jump shot. Oh, wow. he's going to go straight for the layup. Oh, oh my no. God! He needed to rebound. Blue Devils needed that rebound. And right now, again, we got to show a sense of urgency here. Down. Uh, oh, good spin. Great by DJ. move by McComb. A nice left, nice, nice. move. But now, now is where they got to try to get the ball back. This is going to still 14 for points, yeah. three minutes to go. And again, all Red Hook's going to do timeout and hold the ball. Because right now, the Blue Devils need a lot of possessions just to get back in the game. So, with that said, I think it's your turn. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> On Sunday, March 19th at 2 p.m., the Rosendell Theater Collective presents a screening of Fast Forward as a, as a part of their Celebrating Aging series. Fast Forward is an award-winning documentary that asks, if you could see 30 years into the future, would you change anything? The theater is located at 408 Main Street in Rosendale, 
And for more information, call 658-8989. That's 658-8989. Or go online to rosendaletheater.org. That's rosendaletheater.org. Very nice job. All right, right. so 317 is not looking good now. I was hoping at the five-minute mark we are going to make a, make a run kind of yeah. thing. But I just haven't seen the, us putting enough pressure on the ball. Uh, you know, and uh, I don't know whether or not the uh, – the players don't just don't see the urgency, or they think there's a 14-point shot that's going to be invented. <laughs> I'm not sure. But uh, Red Hook, again, uh, we've done pretty good putting pressure on them in the back court. But once they get over half court, they've been successful at getting easy layups. So that's where you that's where you have to switch up your defense a little bit, and you know, and and learn from what beats you, and learn what works. So Gio Velez in the game now for the younger McComb. So you got younger Douglas McComb. Marino, Kinsey. DJ McComb and Velez in. And there's uh, 20 seconds on the shot clock. So, again, look, Red Hook happy, Red to, just they're happy to take their time. Yeah, they're going to run it down here. But and, again, they get it uncontested, not uncontested, but they get an open layup there as there's no help defense to help them. Under three minutes to go here. McComb Don't puts up a three. three. Oh. No good. Rebound Marino. Moreno Velez, Velez in the corner, no good. Wide open for Velez. Air no ball. good. And they're going to give that. They're going to give that to uh, the Raiders. So three-point shooting not working there for the Blue Devils. Pressure finally coming from Ellensville here. Yeah, but no one helps. See, right there, when they're, when they're, when they're pushing on one way, now they call it carry. I think they call the carry on Red Hook coming up to court. I don't know. That was a weird <laughs> I'm not sure what that call was. Yeah, well, you know what a carry is? When they're dribbling, if they, yeah. if they bring the ball down too much, it's a carry. But if you watch, the players just yeah, about every play does it every possession. Yeah, I don't and know what happened. Though. Usually when, when the player gains an advantage, when they cross over and they do it, see, if your hand comes all the way into the ball, it's considered a carry. Oh, gosh. It's yeah. done a lot in today's game, which shouldn't be, but it's been – Kinsey, oh, nice move nice. by Kinsey. Nice move in the air. 14 points. Yeah, but again, the Blue Devils just gotta gotta try to get the ball. And right now, oh. McComb. He just dives for and the And again, but see that's what happened. They get the wide open layup there because yeah, no uh, one. I don't think anyone can. I think more than that, I think they're scared of getting a foul for. Yeah. The Lions. So the Blue Devils now. McComb has the top of the key. Drives to the oh, oh, loses it on the way up. Velez, Velez steals it. Rips Marino it back to Velez. McComb wide open for three at the top of the key. Oh. No good. Doubles oh. to the rebound. Puts it back up and in. Nice. All right. And again, it's, it's still a 14 point. A minute and a half to go. Again, again the, the time is not on our side. A minute 30 left. So it looks like Red Hook will be moving on here, and, they're gonna, and it's going to be out of bounds there. The Blue Devils now 116 to go, but like I said, 14 points is a lot to make yeah, up in that's just a over a minute. Unless if, and again, yeah. I'm all for it. Yeah, if, <laughs> if Ellenwood can uh, put up like three threes, yeah. then they're back in it. But. Like I said, I've, I've been watching basketball for almost 50 years, and oh, that's a foul. 14 yeah. points in a minute is very hard. And again, now they're making the calls at a minute to go, but all that contact was happening throughout the whole second yeah. half. And again, I, I don't mean to sound like we're, I'm blaming the refs um, because, like I said, Red Hook was able to adapt and, again, take a big lead on us. So, Comb is good there. Oh. <laughs> And he's going to get a line, go for two as number uh, five goes in the lane for the rebound. Puts up the second one, and it's good. 12 point game. And uh, again, here. putting full court pressure at number five. Velez is going to put pressure on the ball. Again, they got over, over players' right hand. That could have been, see, that could have been a carry. See how the player did that? Oh, there you go. So like I said, one ref calls it. That guy there, you see what he did? And he did, that's a carry. Yeah. 
Gotcha. So if the ball's under, if your hand's under the ball. Yeah, right, yeah, gotcha. you can actually drill and you can bring it to here, but you can't do this. That's it. See, it looks like you're carrying something. Mm -hmm. And when you see how he how he made that such a big pivot on that, that was that, that was a total carry. Well, here you go. One minute left on the clock. Yes, we're under under a minute. Again, a 12-point game here. Blue Devils. Uh, And right. Again, it looks like the Blue Devils are not going to foul. Ten seconds on the shot clock, and again, Red Hook going to try to set up the play again. A good dish. And again, that happened in all game. The Red Hook number five uh, really, really uh, cutting up the defense here. As McComb puts up a deep three, no good. Going to stay Blue Devil ball as it looked like the Red Hook player tried to save it on, off the Blue Devil player. 15 seconds to go. Again, still 14 points of advantage for the Blue Devils. David McCombs gets it inbounds to Kinsey. Kinsey and they're going to call out. a foul now on the Blue. I mean, on, on Red Hook. Yep. And that's just prolonging the inevitable. It's be out of bounds play for the. Uh, Blue Devils. Ten. Shot is up. No good. Short. Rebounded by and number 10. David Rollins. And Red Hook shooting it for no reason from half court with four minutes to go, four seconds to go. <laughs> Don't know why he's doing that as they rub 14, but that'll be the game. And the Blue Devils season is over. Yep. As uh Red Hook will go on uh, in section play here, and I guess they will be playing the winner of the Roundout uh, Marble game. And I guess we will see you for basketball next, sometime next, maybe November.